Hey everyone, welcome back to the Birdhouse. This is Johnny from Birdhouse TV, where we eat it so you don't have to. Happy December everyone. I hope you're all safe and warm out there. December is a month about family. So I have here my best friend and brother from another nest, Shelby. Now our the family theme, we'll be eating some Italian entrees because have you seen how the Italians eat? Legend has it that the Italians eat food. So who else would know better about eating food than the Italians? Our first entree was gonna be a crazy twist on a traditional family dish. We'll be serving spaghetti with sour punch straw pasta. Definitely sounds interesting. I'm not really looking forward to this one because I'm already thinking about how the sour crystals are gonna mix with the tomato sauce. I'm just getting visions of like whenever you eat a McChicken. You ever have a McChicken before and there's like mayonnaise inside of it? And you put ketchup on that mayonnaise and you mix it up and then you have like that gross oily consistency from the mayonnaise going into that sweet liquidy ketchup and then it's going into the McChicken patty breading and like the breading is kind of like the crystals of the sour punch straws and it's getting all clumped together and then like it comes off the meat and it's going into the sauce and it's like in your mouth and it's like really gross. Ugh. Yeah, but those drippings are really good with fries. Okay. After that, we'll have a lasagna with Rice crispy Treat layers. I literally don't know what to say about this one. I'm looking forward <laughs> to this one. I think it's going to be pretty good. You put anything on top of Rice Krispies and it's awesome. Uh, so first up, let's go ahead and make that spaghetti. That Sour Punch Straws. So actually these Sour Punch Straws, uh, normally I see them all like in uh, just one flavor only. Like I see green or blue or red. And uh, this one here has strawberry, green apple, blue raspberry, and lemon. I've actually never had lemon flavor ones of these before. I just had blue, red, and green. So, yeah, I didn't know they made lemon either. Oh, whoa. Hey. Take a look at that. Looks pretty nice. I kind of want to eat one of these. Like, this like, literally looks just like spaghetti. It really does. <laughs> or a french fry that I would dip into mayonnaise and ketchup. <laughs> I'm a chicken. So gross. Ugh, how can you eat that? So good. <laughs> All right, it looks doable. I think I can eat this with relative ease. It doesn't smell that bad. Oh, I can already see all the uh, sour crystals inside of the sauce. It looks just like a, a fine white powder over all of it. <laughs> it definitely looks interesting, I mean. <laughs> oh yeah, can't have uh, spaghetti without this stuff. All right, so we have the pasta. Let's uh, take the first bite. Here it goes. Yeah, that's not working. <laughs> Abort. Okay. Not bad. Spaghetti's undercooked, not quite al dente. <laughs> it's a little way too firm. Yeah, it's really hard. Um, you know, I'll try a yellow noodle. Yeah, it's really hard. Yellow tastes like nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and try the green one. Yeah, yellow's kind of mm, a little citrusy at the end. I can taste the, the lemon flavoring a little bit. Green's pretty good. Green tastes like um, it just tastes like a sour punch straw. I don't even taste the, the pasta sauce. Try the red. I mean blue. I'm kind of the same. I don't really taste the sauce. So I think sour candy just overpowers it. Yeah, so much. It definitely does. I literally can't taste the sauce. I can't taste the cheese. I'm gonna try the red one now. Yeah, red just tastes like red. This just tastes like eating a bunch of sour punch straws. Just even messier. I didn't really know that was too possible. <laughs> yeah, you always I'm sucking on these things. How did you do that? <laughs> I'm struggling with just like a couple of these at a time. <laughs> it's sour. My stomach. Hey, I only got my Pepto-Bismol. 
<laughs> We're in danger here. Oh my god, man. It's so sour. Like, don't do what I just did. I can feel it. I just lost like a year of my life doing that. What do you think of it? You know, when you eat like spicy things, and you start sweating a little bit, your eyes start tearing up. I'm doing that right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's mostly just like eating sour punch straws just with some sauce for like no reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just the sauce doesn't really uh, add anything. It's it's not bad. It's it just tastes like eating candy. It's really messy. It's hard to bite into. I would probably do it again. Like if someone gave it to me, I'll be like, yeah, I'll eat it. I wouldn't have any like uh any hesitation. Oh dude, the sauce. Try the sauce. I don't know man. That's pretty gross. Oh, it's actually pretty good. <laughs> the sauce is good. Oh, the sauce is like sour candy. It literally tastes like sour candy. Like, it's just really sour sauce. Ooh. You saw it here first, folks. We're gonna make sour pasta sauce for your pasta. It doesn't taste that great, though. I like things over seasoned, so. <laughs> <laughs> and now, it's time to make the lasagna. First layer, Rice Krispies. Originally, I wanted to buy one of those big Rice Krispie sheets that people use for decorating like Rice Krispie cookies. But I went to every Walmart and Target in the area and they didn't have any. They were just sold out everywhere. So we had to compromise. Well, what I thought was that if we used the individual treats, it might be better anyways because it'll be easier to serve. But it's all gonna melt together anyways. It'll be fine. Maybe we should go like, like that, right? There we go. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's awesome. That's basically. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> right, Krispies. One box is perfect. Oh sweet. I like Lunchables. <laughs> oh man. Hey, so? Mmm, smells good. It's so good. All right, let's put the sauce on. It actually looks like a lunch bowl. Like a <laughs> giant <laughs> lunch bowl. Seriously. With like really uh really flaky looking crust. I don't know if I've ever had ricotta cheese before. Is this like solid or is this also kind of liquid you can't just be able to pour out? I think it's kind of like cottage cheese or something. Whoa, what the? You serious? Dude, it looks like flan. So I kinda <laughs> wanna just like dig into that. It looks pretty good. We're gonna need more cheese than that, right? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Give me some of that. This is way too much cheese. <laughs> I should have bought the smaller tub. Well, and this is amazing. If you go around two with the second box of uh, Rice Krispies. <laughs> All right. This actually looks pretty good. It just looks like a giant Italian cookie. <laughs> it smells pretty good. It does, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually kind of looking forward to eating this. I am too now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause you know, I was like, you put anything on Rice Krispies, it's good. Anything. I might regret saying that later, but don't test me guys. I'm gonna eat it. Comment what he should put on top of a Rice Krispie. <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty cool. Alright, so let's go with some more sauce. sauce. We're using mozzarella cheese. I don't know about you, Shelby, but I like my Italian food really, really cheesy. <laughs> like that line? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that line. <laughs> Alright. Sweet. Does that look like enough cheese? Or more? Yeah, I think we're gonna use a little more on that corner. <laughs> Dang, this looks good. Alright. Not corner over there. Dang, this is half the bag. Alright, I think we're ready to put this in the oven. Alright, so the lasagna just came out of the oven. It smells amazing and it looks amazing. So, I've got my spatula. I'm ready to give myself a serving. Ooh, dang. <laughs> When you come, whenever you cut lasagna, 
you can never do it right. It always just ends up being kind of a mess. Just in awe of this. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so, this smells great. I'm ready to eat this. I think it's gonna be tasty. This looks amazing. <laughs> can you pass me the cheese, please? Absolutely. Thank you. Look at that cheese on. <laughs> It's pretty good. It's basically a quick lasagna. Yeah. <laughs> a little sweeter. It's a sweet lasagna. It literally just tastes like dessert lasagna. Oh my god. I'm definitely gonna be able to finish this. Mm. This lasagna is uh, pretty soggy. Some parts of it though, um, do still have the Rice Krispies intact still, so I'm, I'm getting a little bit of crunch whenever I bite into it. Just a little bit though, but most of it is soggy. Even with like that taste of the marshmallow in it, it's still just like, how to try and sound like a food critic here. Still like really savory. Mm. Maybe umami, I don't know what that means. I don't know if they know what that means, but this is good. <laughs> oh. You're gonna be able to finish. Your half, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Easy. I can finish my half too. <laughs> there we are. Cool. All right, let's finish this up. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, definitely gonna have to hit the gym today. <laughs> I had three hockey games the last two days. I think I'm good. It was pretty good. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. It just tasted like an entree and a dessert at the same time. It was really savory, it was sweet, it had crunch, it was soggy, like a lasagna. It fell apart like a lasagna. It was really cheesy and saucy. Uh, sorry, I still got pieces of Rice Krispies in my teeth I'm trying to fish <laughs> up. It was just really good. No problems doing this one again at all. Yeah. Went to like a pizza place or whatever, and they had a, like a little dessert menu and be like, oh, dessert lasagna, right? Probably like laugh about it, get it as like a joke, but if it was like this, I'd keep going back. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is great. Yeah, this looks like something that you would see on like a cursed food thread, but uh, it actually would taste pretty good. I definitely would say try it. It's really easy to make. It's not that expensive. And you'd probably feed a small family. <laughs> I could probably eat this entire thing myself if I wanted to. It's good. So what do you think of these crazy takes on these Italian classics? Which one would you try? Or who do you think would give one of these a try? Let us know down in the comments. And as always, have a safe and warm December. Happy December everyone. Goodbye. <laughs>